Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time for another Toy Bolo post video <laughs> from my Facebook group. So what I did is I created a post asking or inviting members of my Facebook group to share their best toy bolo. I've got, I think, 22, 23 coming your way. Um, this has been a running post, so I think it's kind of gotten a little stale. So I've only got 23 in this video, but that's okay because they are fantastic. Um, this is what the post looks like. I think I'm going to start a new one and uh, discontinue this one tonight. So um, look for a new post if you're in my Facebook group. And um, if you're not in my Facebook group, there's a link down in the description. All right, you guys, we are going to get started here with some big money or unexpected toy bolos. Hey, bolo buddies. Thanks for watching. reseller. All right, let's get started. So the first item is this um, girl of today, American girl retired mini Macintosh computer desk, chair, and glasses. So it's like a little set. And I am going to be looking over at my computer to read what everybody wrote. Um, but she picked this up in a this and a couple other sets from a Facebook post, and it went for full asking price of $124.99. Okay, you guys, this next item was purchased at the Goodwill for $2.99, sold for full asking price of $70 plus shipping. It is a Misa Toys Sleepover Master Plush Purple, I don't know, it's some sort of doll. This is what it looks like. I've never seen it before, but I am definitely going to be looking for it. Missa Toys, M-I-S-A, Missa, Misa, not sure, but M-I-S-A Toys. The next item is this um, Adventure Time Card Wars, and it says Finn versus Jake. Um, unfortunately, this is the photo I have. I'm not sure if this is a game, if this is a pack of cards. Maybe it's cards, but either way, you guys, this sold on Mercari for $65 plus shipping. So card wars, look that up. Maybe it's like a card game. The next item paid a dollar to garage sale and sold for 50. It is a Yogi Bear 1959 Hanna-Barbera Hanna -Barbera Knickerbocker Toys stuffed doll with rubber hands and face. So this is what it looks like and a dollar from a garage sale. Um, pretty cool. I, I would say anything that's plush with a rubber face, I'm going to buy it. It just seems like, um, I mean, Rushton, of course, are like amazing. And I hope to find one someday. I've not yet found one. But if it has a rubber face and it's plush, I'm probably buying it. Even if it's a good bread and butter. The next item, um, she said, it, I'm not sure if this qualifies as a, at a toy. Oh my goodness. Sorry. As a toy, but the brand is mainly toys. So I'm going to post it too, since I haven't noticed anyone else ever mention it. And I have sold one of these before. Um, she paid a dollar for it at the Goodwill. And it sold for $33.99 plus shipping. I would consider this a toy. It's a Little Tykes, which is a toy brand. And it's a piggy bank. And um, definitely a good item to be on the lookout for. Um, all right. Let's see. Scroll in here. Okay. The next item comes from... Uh, reselling with honey. I think that's the name. I'm going to pop up her YouTube channel. I think it's reselling with honey. I know it was honey with an, a U and then she changed it. So I will pop it up just to make sure it hasn't changed again for you guys. Definitely go check her out. She's newer to YouTube, but her content is awesome. You will definitely learn something. She's a bolo finder and, um, she is a bolo buddies member. That's why I am giving her a special shout out. If you guys want to join memberships and become a member, um, I do special v shout out videos if you're a member. And this is just a bonus. If you share in the Facebook post, I shout you out again. So down in the description, there's a join button or a link to join. And then also by like the thumbs up and stuff, there's a button that says join. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Um, you have to be at level two to be um, shout to get a shout out. Okay, so anyway, she paid three dollars for this, you guys. She planned on listing it for ninety, but decided to put it on a five day auction to see where it would go. 
it ended up selling for $220.48 plus shipping. It is a 1987 Steyr, S-T-I-E-R, Bears, 13-inch Barney Golden Dense um, Mohair Bear KW12, Katherine Wallace. No clue what any of that means, but definitely a bolo. All right, the next item. Okay, this item comes from Sisters Rescued Treasures. Um, they're on eBay, Mercari, um, Poshmark, but they sold this book that they got for free. It is called Pookie, and they sold it for $95, you guys. It says nine book series, but buyer only wanted this one book. So this one must be special, but 95 bucks. Um, I'm going to share one of mine with you guys. And this is, um, I'm going to call it a toy. I just sold this right here, these stickers. And I just wrote this. I didn't just sell it. It's probably been, I don't know when I posted this, but it's been a few weeks back. But I sold these for $45. They are scratch and stiff scratch and sniff stickers you guys and they're vintage i got them in a three dollar grab bag if you want to see all of the stickers that i got um over on my sourcing with bolo buddies youtube channel this is what the video looks like go check it out it is just amazing what these stickers are going for but anyway this one set sold for 45 bucks um and that was at a yard sale the next one says unfortunately okay um Daisy Fairies Plush. I paid probably around $1.50 for her at a thrift store and sold within just a few hours of listing on Mercari for a best offer of $24 plus shipping. So it is Disneyland Plush Fairy and it is Fawn. Um, and I'm going to pop up the Mercari listing and then I'm also going to pop up a full shot of what the actual item looks like because Mercari cropped the head off. Okay. And I think I sold one of the fairies like this. I don't know if it was this exact same one. And I think I sold mine for like 65. I think it was a different fairy though. But some of those uh, fairies that are not as popular can definitely be a bolo. I guess maybe not. They're popular. They're just, they were not as mass produced as like Tinkerbell. Okay. Picked up uh, for 50 cents at a yard sale just because it looked cool. Turned out to be vintage and hard to come by. It sold in less than a day. I listed for 30 and took an offer for 27. So these are, I don't know if it's a, is it a board game? Vintage Elixir Wacky Wizards TSR Complete. This is what it looks like. I don't know what it is, you guys. But this also sold on Mercari. You guys, if you're not selling on Mercari, I highly recommend it. I do have a um, link down in the description. If you sign up, you get a coupon. And then once you sell $100, they give you another coupon. I think it's like $30 total. And then they also give me a coupon when you buy something and then when you sell $100. So it's pretty cool. And then once you guys sign up, you guys will get a link also that you can refer people. So if you want to try Mercari, you can check that out. Um, I cross post all of my items from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly. If you want to know more about that, there's a link down in the description of the video. I'm not going to get all into it, but I do have a demo video where I show you exactly how I do it. If you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. I've been using it since 2019. I love it. It's amazing. Check it out. Okay, this Folk Monus, which I love Folk Monus. I have a Folk Monus owl that um, Yard Sales and Dreams sent me. If you haven't checked out her channel, check it out. It's awesome. Okay, this is a hippo puppet um, with working, it says farting noises. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, $4 at a local thrift and a couple bucks for new batteries. <laughs> oh, I guess it just farts, guys. Stinkers. I like stinkers better. Um, sold to a guest posher for full price of $125. Are you kidding me? High value due to being a reoccurring gag on NCIS, Bert the Farting Hippo. Okay, so somebody in the group just mentioned, um, they were talking about a Tasmanian mug that um, they recently sold, and they were they did a post asking people to share 
which items they know about that have higher dollar values because they were featured in a movie. I haven't went back to the post to check it out yet, but this would be a great example. Um, Poshmark is another platform that I sell on. Again, if you sign up with my link, I think you get a $10 coupon and then I get a $10 coupon when you buy something for the first time. Um, it's just something that once you sign up, they give you like a referral link so that you can get little kickbacks when you mention the platform. But anyway, well, you, you have to do more than mention it. People have to use your link. But anyhow, Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay is where I sell mostly. I do dabble in some others. So be on the lookout for this guy, you guys. He's a $125 hippo. Okay, I bought this vintage jean Hoffler, Hoffler Western toy set at an estate sale for $15. It was so cool. I had never seen one before. The buildings snapped together. There was a stagecoach and horses, cowboys and Indians, a saloon, a sheriff's office, a hotel, etc. I sold it for $110. Check it out. Um, it doesn't say where they sold it. I'm guessing eBay. Um, but I will pop the picture up for you guys and it sold for $110. Found 10 Douglas stuffed dogs at the Goodwill for $2 each. I never looked at look at the stuffed animals, but these caught my eye because they looked so real. Spent a total of $20 and sold them for $25 each. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is. Oh, so cute. So cute. Okay, I got these at Walgreens on clearance years ago. Characters from a Mexican TV show that briefly crossed over to a cartoon called... El Chavo, I might be saying that wrong. Jack's Pacific Toys do well. I think I paid about $10 or less for both. So El Chavo, Kiko, and Popsy, or Poppus dolls and DVDs, rare Jack's Pacific. So sold these for $55 plus shipping. So it looks like it was maybe an item that he's had for a little bit and then maybe they're not, maybe it's retired. I'm not really sure. But this is what they look like. I thought these would go for higher. Got at a shop Goodwill auction. Hannah, Barbara, Bobbleheads, um, Magilla, Gorilla, and Scooby-Doo. I think I paid 50 for all and had to pick them up 50 miles away. So it is a mixed lot as seen and they sold for $124.50 plus shipping. This was my first Etsy sale. Little Jetsons toys. Um, $23 cost me about a dollar for all. Okay, so these are just little Jetsons toy figures. You guys know I absolutely love selling toys. Um, anyway, so the Jetsons, $23 plus tax and shipping. The buyer was all in for $32.98 for these little toys, you guys. So definitely be on the lookout and don't just dismiss little toys. They can do pretty well. All right, sold this in January for $299.99 on eBay. I have three shoe boxes of my daughter's Bratz Monster High Barbie. She said, get rid of them. So free to me, she says. Well, I paid, um, she's like, well, I did pay for them when she was little. Yes, that's true. You probably did. Um, this doll is rare. It is Felicia Campfire. I think I'm saying that right. I waited for the um, complete with accessories ones to be sold and put mine up high. Comps are even higher now. So this is what the doll looks like. You guys, some of the Bratz dolls, some of the Monster High, some of them go for big bucks. I'm not sure if this is one of like the extra big ones or if this is just a regular size. The photo is fantastic and her hair looks so good. Um, sometimes the doll's hair get crazy. Um, she said, see, there is a rerun on all of that money invested in those kids' toys. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Yep. So she bought the toys for her daughter years and years ago, and now she's selling them. Okay. I bought him at the Goodwill bins for 50 cents, sold him for $67.50. He is the mascot for the Deviant Art website. He is described as a robotic cat, and his name is Fella. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like. Never seen that guy before ever. So good, good to know that one. I paid $2 to pick anything and everything in the attic at an auction. Among the hundreds of items I picked, sold two of these new old stock estimate one penny investment. So it's a rent, uh, vintage rare blow mold Frankenstein Halloween flashlight. So sold it for $15 plus shipping. 
So you guys, next item. Um, this comes from Bolo Buddies member, Money Making Mama. I knew it was Mama. I just couldn't remember what the beginning was. I was uh, reselling with Mama or Money Making Mama. Here's her channel. Um, she paid $125 from a place that she sources at. It's called Dirt Cheap. And if you've watched my featured members video, I talk about her sourcing at this place. It's unbelievable what she finds. She said this one sold for $314. Now she did pay $125 for it, but she sold it for $314. And this is one of eight that I sold in just three days. So $125 into $314 times eight. <laughs> So huge bolo for me, she said. I even made my first YouTube short about it. So go check out her YouTube short. It's a Star Wars Black Series. Um, it looks like it's a, a lightsaber. How crazy is that? So retail arbitrage, you guys, your margins. Sometimes you got to pay up for things, but she knew to invest in eight of those. I mean, 125 times eight. Ah, that would be scary for me. Okay. Paid up for this, $10 at an antique store for the jail and $2 for the vehicle at a thrift store. And she sold this on Mercari for $57 plus shipping. It's a SpongeBob, SpongeBob Imaginex bundle right here. Um, toys do awesome on Mercari. I love putting toys on Mercari. All right, you guys. So that concludes this video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, um, what your favorite Bolo item was. Check out the featured members, uh, Bolo Buddies members that were mentioned. Um, and if you haven't seen the featured members video that here's the most recent one I did, go check that out, you guys. These members are Bolo finders. They are showcasing their Bolos in these videos and you guys are gonna learn so much. So definitely go check that out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and check my Facebook group for future posts where you guys can share your bolos to have your bolo featured in a video just like this. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.